Um, welcome to this next video. Uh, in this, we're going to kind of expand on functions a little bit. Uh, if you are following along in CMUCS Academy Intro to Programming, um, this is hopefully going to be a little helpful to you if you're having some difficulty with the 2.1.3 exercises. Um, I will not be giving answers to any of those exercises, but hopefully I give you an idea of that kind of helps your mind click. Uh, so in the last tutorial video, we saw kind of the anatomy of a function, our first function, uh, but it had no inputs. So we're going to review that briefly and then start talking about a function that has inputs. So I'm going to define a function. I'm going to define a function called um, draw, uh, draw circle. Well, we already have a circle. Let me make it do something better. Draw circle. Yeah, square. Is that going to be too tough? Draw circle rhombus. Okay. And for draw circle rhombus, right, we defined our function. We named our function. Now I'm actually going to say I need input for this function. And this is the big concept that we're talking about in this video. And I'm going to say, you know what? I need an X and a Y. And then I need a... Uh, a circle, a circle color. Boom. Okay. Now in this function, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing a regular polygon, polygon, uh, and I'm going to put it at for now. And this is kind of stupid to do, but we're going to just do this for now, uh, right over here. And with, we're making it around this. Um, and we'll make the fill equal to, I don't know, blue. Great. Um, okay. Let's see if we get an error here. Uh, you'll notice though, nothing happens in our canvas or in our console because we're defining a function. We haven't called the function yet. Uh, let's now make the circle. So I'm going to make the circle at 200, 200. Um, I'm going to make the radius 100 again, and we'll make the fill equal yellow. Yellow and blue, great color combination. Again, run it just to see if I have any errors. It might actually not even, I don't know if Python would catch an error inside here until I try calling it. So um, well, let's try calling it, right? So I'm going to call the function by, you know, calling its name, draw circle rhombus. And it requires three bits of input for it to work. So I'm going to give it uh, an X, whatever. It literally doesn't matter right now. I'm not using the input. A Y, and I'll make a Y that actually fits. Uh, and then a color, I'll do red, maybe. Um, now, if I run this, something should run. This radius is too big. Let's make it a... Uh, 75 so that we can see the rhombus underneath ah it's looking better oh almost but whatever we're not going to worry too much eh, let's make it 50. is that too small eh, it looks kind of cool um all right so this you know once we call the function it runs my code but it's going to make this circle and rhombus the same time every time no matter how many times i click run here uh, nothing's changing um, what I want to talk about now is actually using the input. So when I ask for input in a function, usually it means you want to use it. Um, the X and Y here I created because I want to be able to, whenever I call the function, to change the location of the thing that I'm drawing. So instead of just hard coding in this 200, 200 for the X, Y in the polygon, and the 200, 200, and the xy for the circle, we can instead use these variables to say whatever they input for the x coordinate, whatever they input for the y coordinate, I'll use for my xy coordinates inside of my polygon, and I'll use it inside of my circle as well to keep them on top of each other. If we run this now, uh, my input for the x and y was 123 and 34. So if I run it, it's actually going to draw it at 123.34. Hopefully you can see that okay. If I change my input here, maybe I make it 123 and 300, and I run again, well, it draws it down there. I can even call the function more than once. So over here, I can actually say, hey, you know what? 
I'm going to call the function again. I'm going to call draw circle rhombus. And this time I'm going to put it at 200, 200 like I had originally. And I want it to be purple. If I run this, well, now I'll actually run the code of my function twice. The first time drawing it at 123 and the second time drawing it at 200, 200. Uh, the last bit though is that I want, I made a function in my function, sorry. In my function, I, I said I wanted input for the circle color, but every single time I draw the circle, I'm making it yellow. Well, I can just change that. I can say, hey, instead of just making it yellow every time, I can use the circle color. And then the third argument that I pass whenever I call the function is going to be you know placed into that circle color variable and then I'll use the fill being equal to whatever I had passed over there as my input. So we run it now. Now I've got a red circle here and a purple circle here. Um, this is really important because when you're looking at CMU CS Academy, especially for, you know, I, I'm saying it's really important for uh, getting through, you know, if you're stuck on those on those uh, couple exercises, whenever they make test cases, what they're doing there is they're creating their own different function calls and you're supposed to be making your function react to those test calls. If you hard code in 200, 200, and you hard code in the color to be yellow, no matter what they use for the function calls for their test cases, the XY is always going to be 200, 200. The fill is always going to be yellow. So that's why you need to start using the variables that we have as our input so that whatever they type in in their function call, whatever's in the test case, will then be used when the function is called that time. Um, I hope that that was kind of helpful in giving an explanation. Uh, really super, yeah, no, actually, I think that's going to be it. Sorry, people that aren't on CMU. This is all very CMU uh, heavy using the canvas and stuff like that. But, you know, I hope it was valuable. Let me know if it wasn't or you need a better explanation. I can reshoot the video.